I had to go in another completely different direction from the last two reviews. A couple of DC Amekami figurines. Um, we got Black Canary. And uh, I just forgot her name. Let's start with Black Canary then. She's in a somewhat awkward running pose. I guess she's not standing, but she's in a running along, screaming, since that's what she does. Um, this one is completely non posable. There's nothing posable about it. From her Dragon Ball Z hair, um, her arm. I wish her arm was, was a little bit posable because she's got a little shuriken in it. It would be kind of cool to be able to position it so you could see it a little better. Um, this one, these are from the earlier series that have ridiculous huge stands. I hate it. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little figure. It's it's good. I like it. There is a Black Lantern repaint of this that, well, it would be fun to get. I am not a completist on this line, and so there are a ton of other ones I would get before I bought Black Lantern, Black Canary, or is it? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Anyway, there's some repaint of it. Donna Troy. I remembered her name. <clears throat> Switching places here. Donna Troy has a really cool Starfield effect in her costume and her hair. It, it's kind of glittery. I hope the camera is picking it up. It totally catches in the light in person. She's got Mondo big anime boots with shin guards that look like they should actually be knee pads, but they come to the top of her knees, so they're probably only shin guards. She's got big old anime armored gloves, which I like. Little shoulder armor. Cool Starfield display again. And a nice boob window. Um, yeah. Also, completely, totally non posable. But also a lot more stable on her base. That's really all there is to say about these. Um, if you like the characters or if you like the designs, they're fun little statues. Neither of these two are particularly expensive even now, even though they're older ones. You should be able to get them for fairly cheap. There is a red repaint of this, light labeled Wonder Girl. I don't have it. Um, I may get it someday. But this is the good one. Of the two, I like this one the best, even though I don't know her character at all. So, thanks for watching.